My friend, who started playing league since last year is currently in iron. This video is to help him to climb. But because I'm a support main, I'm going to focus on the tactical side of the game. Let's talk about the runes first. Grasp of Undying is very good rune, if you can proc it. But proccing it against a ranged champion is very difficult. You only healed for 600 damage. That's drinking refillable potions 5 times. So it would have been better to go for different primary rune. But if you really wanted to take Grasp of Undying no matter what, second wind would have been better than conditioning. Because this matchup is range versus melee, where opponent is going to poke you down, you need more lane sustain. The runes I would recommend is this. With unsealed spellbook, mix in ignite for extra damage. Exhaust for extra slow for kill, heal and barrier for extra lane sustain, or ghost to walk up to Teemo. You can also use smite to become pog. Boots for extra movement speed and basically free gold, but if you plan to get boots early, you can go with stopwatch. Biscuits to help your lane sustain. Cosmic insight for extra cooldown. Secondary rune will be Nimbus Cloak, since you will use lot of spells with the spellbook, so you can get extra movement speed. Transcendence for extra cooldown for extra Q stacks. If you want to play a bit more defensively, you can go like this. I normally recommend double magic resistance because Teemo will poke you down with Q most of the time, but he does auto attack, and if enemy jungle is AD, you can mix one magic resist with one armor. But if you can't use Spellbook very well, you can take Phase Rush. You need to land your E plus Auto Q to activate it. And use W to slow enemy down even more if needed. Summoner spell-wise, it's Ignite versus TP. So Teemo must take a lead during laning phase. If he fails to do that, he's one spell down for the rest of the game. You have TP, so you need to wave manage and look for teamfights on the opposite side of the map. Now let's look at the play. First mistake here is sitting under the tower. There's absolutely no reason to be under the tower at the start. When the game starts, buy your item and rush towards the jungle entrance. Checking whether enemy team invades or not is crucial information for your jungler. You'll have two spots where you can watch from. Here and here. The top side bush is to just check if enemy team invades. Bottom side bush is to fight if enemy team invades. I recommend just guarding the top side for information as it's not guaranteed enemy team will invade. Or you can go stay in this bush. If Teemo walks up you can attack him. It's not that Nasus can't beat Teemo at 1v1. The problem is that Teemo has attack range advantage. So if Teemo walks up and close down the distance for you, you can fight him. Back away when he's out of your range. You can use the bush to get in cover. And it looks pretty fiesta down in bot side, so let's go take a look. As my friend is top laner I'll only focus on Nasus play, but it looks like red team pushed Warwick out of the jungle with extremely low health and can take this red buff. Which means red team will start with a huge advantage. Let's just go back to the top side. This is Teemo versus Nasus matchup. So attacking minions here is horrible decision. It's melee versus range. You'll get poked down if you stand in the middle. You want the wave to be pulled closer to the turret so you can farm without the poke. Think of enemy champion as a minion. Teemo will be last hitting, so the enemy team has one more minion than your wave, which means this wave will pull towards you if you just leave it. But by attacking minions here, you created a pushing wave. This is pushing wave because there's three caster minions against there too. Teemo can easily zone you away from the minions by pulling this wave. Luckily this is iron. Teemo pushes the wave for you. A few moments later. Using your E here is also really bad. This wave will be pulled towards your turret. If Teemo attacks you while you're under the tower, you can slow him with W and get a good damage trade. But by using your E, you potentially froze the wave. Backing here is good idea. Because full Teemo combo plus ignite will get you killed. But the minion wave is under the turret. You need to use your TP to get those minions. Bad combo here. 
Timo is without flash so he's got no escape and Ramus is going to engage. So you shouldn't be rushing your skills. What you should have done is just use W to slow Timo. You need to place your E when Ramus engages. It reduces target's armor if they remain inside the skill as well as damage over time. You have your E available. Use it to fully push in the wave. You have river warded and as your minion wave is big, you can quickly push this wave in and then recall. Pushing in wave burns your wave while damaging the turret. Same thing about combo. If your W is out of range, then save it in case the target runs away. Use E when Ramus engage. And this is the very reason why I tell you to never play Teemo. Even if you're fed, you're too vulnerable to ganks. And that's why you should never ban Teemo either. Jungler and mid is bot. So pushing top as much as possible is very good decision. As you're recalling, always think about what you can do next. You have TP available. Dragon is up. You pushed in the wave so you can walk back to lane. Then what is the next play you should be thinking about? TP to the dragon for 4v5 teamfight. 10, 9, ignition sequence start. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. This TP is wasted. You pushed in the wave before recalling so you can walk back to lane. But this scenario at Dragon is solo rank dilemma. Your jungler is topside and the rest of the team is a Dragon. So it's jungler's fault for not going to Dragon. But it's also the teammate's fault for going to Dragon without the jungler. So what should you have done here? It's most likely the Dragon will be stolen by the opponent due to smite difference. But if you walked back to lane and TP to Dragon when a teamfight starts, you may have been able to get few kills. Another thing is item customization. Enemy top, jungle and mid are all AP. Plus they have Teemo and Vagar. So a good item here will be Adipative Helm. Adipative Helm is good item against champions, who does damage with the same skills like Teemo's Mushroom and Vagar's Q. This is another mistake here. You can see opponent pushing mid, and yet you're going to top. The laning phase is over. You don't always have to be in top lane, just because you're top laner. You need to be flexible which lane you need to go to. If you went to mid as soon as you saw them push mid, you could have fought with Ramus, but because you wasted time under the tower you got 0 CS, 0 damage to champions, 0 damage to objective. I think that will be all for this video. Hope this video helped.